of flight itinerary. Yes. Now, is this the whole lot? Yes, actually, this is the, the beginning, and uh, hopefully, we'll, as time goes on, we'll have more routes to, to go to. Okay, so you're already flying to, is it eight destinations, eight or nine destinations? Um, Nine destinations, including including Gambia, Gambia. Da, Banjul, yes, Banjul, yeah, that's where the headquarters are. Yes, that's the Gambia bar. And who do we have here? No, I'm not. I'm not representing Gambia bar. Oh. I represent Gambia Civil Aviation Authority. Gambia Civil Aviation Authority, and of course, this is the latest addition to the travel sector. You must be excited. Yeah, very excited. Okay. Um, it's very encouraging. Mm -hmm. Gambia bar, mm -hmm. the coming of Gambia bar would. You know, make air access in the Gambia very easy. Very easy really. uh, we felt mm -hmm. to encourage them greatly. Okay. We are giving them all the support and encouragement okay. in terms of landing, parking. They have free parking with us, free landing for the four six months, okay. which is very encouraging. Okay. Now we at Gambia Civil Aviation Authority entice new airlines coming into the Gambia. We give them free parking, free landing. The coming of Gambia bad, you know. It will it will ease the the difficulty passengers face in Banjul, especially going into the sub region. That's the all new airliner about to open West Africa to the world. Uh, we have another I mean civil aviation uh, official here. At the eighth edition of the Aquaba brings together every stakeholder in the travel and tourism industry. Here they are at the Gambia stand, showcasing everything about this Marlin coast. I am here to represent the Gambia International Airlines. GIA. That's GIA. I'm the Senior Sales and Reservations Manager. Mm -hmm. Yes. So GIA, really, that must be exciting, being at the Aquaba. What does this mean for you? Uh, it means a lot because uh, this is not the first time we are attending the Aquaba uh, Travel uh, Trade Fair. Uh, yes, we've been attending since its commencement. Mm -hmm. Yes, but normally we take it by turn. Now people are saying yeah. that this year is bigger, really. Uh, I've never attended, though. This is my first time. Last year, uh, one of my uh, one my colleague attended. Yeah, mm -hmm. but this is the first time I'm attending it. But uh, it's great. I've met my other colleagues within the airline industry, mm -hmm. and we've had fruitful discussion. Mm -hmm. I've got the, the opportunity to, to interact with people, share ideas promote my country and promote my company. Thank you so much. Uh, that's a significant and unyielding move to make voyaging to West Africa an extremely seamless and memorable adventure. And this is why the aviation industry is very important and is being put at the fore of this occasion, bringing together every significant player in the travel and tourism industry. Now we're here at the Aquaba in the eighth edition. It's a massive keep an extraordinarily unmissable affair. Hi, I'm Risa. I'm flying with Gambia Bird. And this program you're watching is brought to you by... A drive to maximize gains in significant measures, perhaps no destination to greater advantage of the travel fair than the Gambia. As officials of the Gambia Tourism Board steered a distinct marketing approach winning quick acclaim and unprecedented interest at the fore of a diverse delegation drawing representation from the most critical aspect of the local travel and hospitality sector. The impressive Gambian Expo, which unfailingly won the prize for the best international stand, was the scene of vibrant marketing exploits, trading the exclusive Smiling Coast brand. You're still watching the expedition with me, Ibrahim Ajata, cruising through the world of travel and tourism. Now we're here at the eighth edition of the Aquaba, bringing together every crucial player of the travel world who matters. Now, this is the Gambian stand where everything about this Marlin Coast is being showcased. We are here with Bunama Njai. He is the uh, chairman of this mission, ready to market destination Gambia. Now, Bunama, thank you so much for joining us on the expedition. Uh, thank you, Ibrahim. It's a beautiful day. We're witnessing the second day of the Aquaba, bringing together every significant stakeholder of the travel and tourism world. Uh, this is significant, but what is different this time around? They are saying that this event is much bigger than the previous years. Well, Ibrahim, um, Gambian presence has been felt in the Aquaba for as many years as um, the Aquaba started showcasing um, sub-regional um, tourism. And um, we, have, we are ranking Aquaba as one of the biggest state fairs in the sub-region. 
because certainly you are aware that uh, we are um, very much interested in sub-regional tourism and Nigeria is one of the biggest um, populace in the West African countries and so for that matter we felt that um, we will make our presence uh, felt here meaning bringing the smiling coast of Africa to the uh, Nigerian market. Um, you will also realize that uh, Nigerian market has been on the increase in the Gambia since we started showcasing the Gambia in Nigeria and our intention is to even increase the visitor number from Nigeria not only Nigeria but from the sub-region because here um, you have got a lot of players in the tourism industry uh, including the whole sub-region so it's not only to showcase Nigerian uh, Gambia to Nigeria but throughout the sub-region yes it's a big occasion really and like you said a lot of Nigerians have started visiting uh, the Gambia so here you are saying that your next tourist might actually be an African? Um, we hope that for the within the next five years mm -hmm. we could have sub-regionalized the tourism uh, the, the tourism sector uh, meaning we are not only going to be dependent on um, our European clients um, we certainly want to make Gambia a whole year-round destination and the only way we can achieve that is to certainly um, include the sub-region in this package it is high time, I think, that Africans begin to understand each other's culture, visit each other's um, uh, uh, sites, be able to interact with each other, um, to bring tourism as a one package to the African destination. This is um, Nakasuto. I said earlier by one of the speakers, Gambia is now the leading country in ecotourism. An example you think. Magasin is actually late on top of the ocean. Um, the lake, that, that beautiful lady you saw on the left is a smiling lady. In other words, you know, this is how the Gambia is all about. And these are our self association members. This is the rich culture I made mention earlier. You have the Kankura and you have the Kumpo. And this is the wonderful beach that we have. And this also is conference hall. Chicken Yaza is a Gambian dish. This is a, you know, this is a picture of Chicken Yaza. This is Tomada. And the Fort Tulen. Um, I made mention earlier of the rich history that Gambia has. And Fort Tulen is one of them. This is um, Jufre. I'm sure you must have heard about Kutikinti or the roots. This is, this is the origin, this is where it is. And before I even proceed, uh, we're going to celebrate the Roots Festival in the Gambia. It's going to be in May from the 3rd to the 10th. Last year, I spoke about the efforts of the Gambia Tourism Board and stakeholders of what they are doing to develop the regional tourism and appeal to all in our region, especially our sub-region, to work together to promote regional tourism for the common good of all. We're happy to celebrate with the Gambians and to reassure the Gambians that we'll continue to work together. Are you still watching the expedition cruising through the world of travel and tourism? It's the eighth edition of the Aquawa. This is actually the second day, ex exclusively dedicated for the celebration of everything that is Gambian. This is the Gambia Day, bringing together the diversity and the lights which form the exciting des destination. Now the expedition meets the man behind this groundbreaking travel expo, so casing Africa's travel delights. It's a significant move to promote sub-regional tourism. He is Ikechi, the man behind this great move unveiling in bright circumstances. Ikechi, you must be a happy man today. I am, I am, I, I, and I'm also happy for the Gambia. You know, Gambia has made us smile. I'm drinking Wonjo. Wonjo, <laughs> tell me, you gotta tell these people how Wonjo really tastes. Yeah, Wonjo is, is, nice. is nice, and 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 this is the biggest memory of Gambia. And you could see all the Nigerians are walking away with Wonjo and all the drinks. So really? it is a real Gambian experience. Yeah. Okay, it's the eighth edition of the Aquaba. For the past seven years, we've been moving through promote Africa's 